today's video I will be doing my six month LASIK follow up in response to my last LASIK video. This video will be a Q&A, a question and answer format. The questions I have chosen for this video are the same questions that I had um, prior to proceeding with LASIK and I will be answering them based on my experience. Most of the questions and answers are derived from the folder that I received during my consultation. And I will also be going over the goodie bag that I received during my uh, last consultation before my LASIK procedure. So the first question, it has been about six months since your LASIK surgery. How are you feeling? It has been half a year since my LASIK surgery and my eyes are feeling fantastic and I could leave it there. But going in further detail, it is just a great feeling where I can wake up and not have to find my glasses or put on my lenses right away before I start my day. Now the fact that I'm not dependent on prescription lenses, my contact lenses and my glasses, it is one less thing to think about. In my last video, I mentioned that it felt kind of strange or awkward not to have some type of protection over my eyes but I don't feel that way anymore. The one thing that I do have to be a little concerned about is my dry eyes but I've always kind of had dry eyes since my whole life and also maybe where I'm just living I'm also more prone to dry eye so I do make sure that I have uh, artificial tear eye drops with me pretty much everywhere. Um, I leave it in the bathroom, next to my bed, in the car, at work, in the living room, in my bag. About two weeks ago, I did travel um, where I had to take a two-hour plane ride. I did notice my dry eyes there. Luckily, I did bring my artificial tears where I just put some eye drops in my eye and that was it. But the final answer is that my eyes feel great. Question number two is why did you choose that institute for your LASIK procedure. So the reason why I chose that surgeon and the surgery center is because two of my coworker colleagues actually got their LASIK done there. One of my coworkers did get uh, his LASIK six months before I got mine. Because of his recent experience and review with that surgeon and surgery center, it has given me the opportunity to put my trust in them to proceed with LASIK procedure. Because it is your only set of eyes, you have to make sure that you have good review, good research, and find people who can vouch for that surgeon and surgery center. Question number three. How much did your LASIK procedure cost? The surgeon and the surgery center that I went to charge the LASIK slash PRK package um, which is the only package it's called the platinum package the original cost was four thousand five hundred dollars to do on both eyes either LASIK or PRK because of my job I did get a professional discount of nine hundred dollars off which my final cost was three thousand six hundred dollars USD my LASIK package includes a custom blade-free LASIK or custom PRK. Data from the wave scan is used to customize and personalize my treatment as deemed safest and most effective for my overall situation by my surgeon, which I'm assuming that's just their machine that they use. It includes 12 months of post-op care office visits. 12 months of dry eye treatment, which is the tear duct plugs, and 12 month free enhancements, which I'm assuming that if they have to do any corrective procedures, it would be part of the package as long as it's within the 12 months. All balances are due before the day of surgery, no exceptions. They also do um, have this lifetime assurance plan for LASIK and PRK. It goes, if deemed eligible, there is an additional fee of $250 per eye to participate in the lifetime assurance plan. This must be paid in full prior to the date of surgery. They really didn't mention this. They didn't really verbally offer it to me, so I did not end up getting the lifetime assurance plan. 
So I ended up paying everything um, during my second consultation, which was a few days prior to the date of surgery. I paid on December 21st, 2021, and I paid by my uh, credit card. I'm sure there are many ways to pay for this procedure, you know, either cash, credit card, and I'm pretty sure they also have financing options through a third party, kind of like a um, credit card for medical uses. Question number four, what were the preoperative LASIK instructions? So in order to prepare for your LASIK procedure, um, I was instructed to stop wearing contact lenses for at least two weeks prior. I also had to start taking about 2,000 milligrams of either fish oils, mega-3 flax seeds um, about two weeks prior to the date of surgery. Also two weeks prior, I did have to start using the lubricant eye drops to artificial tears about four to six times a day. So I would do it in the mornings, at lunch, once I got off of work, and right before I went to bed. During the pre-op consultation, they did mention that the pre-op is gonna be two to three hours, and then they will dilate my eyes to do the exam. So most people can drive on their own um, after the pre-op consultation. But if you feel uncomfortable, make sure you bring a driver with you. So this is the pre-op paper. This instruction was given to me two days um, before my date of surgery. So my surgery was on Thursday and I had to follow the instructions on Tuesday. So one of them, I had to start using the antibiotic drops three times a day in both eyes. Next, you would have to start using the anti-inflammatory eye drops, which are the steroid eye drops, about four times a day, um, one to three days prior to the date of surgery. And then I still had to continue using my artificial tears and then continue taking my uh, fish oil omega-3s, 2,000 milligrams a day. And then one to two hours before the actual surgery itself, I had to take um, extra strength over-the-counter Tylenol. So right before your surgery, you want to make sure that you do have a light meal because they will be giving you a sedative um, to take before the surgery, which I was given Valium to take. And make sure that you have a driver to take you to the surgery center and to pick you up from the surgery center because once you take the Valium, you're going to be very tired, very sleepy. You won't be able to concentrate while driving. You know, after the procedure, you can't really see that well. So another reason why they don't recommend you driving yourself after the surgery. Um, make sure that you are wearing warm and comfortable clothing because the rooms were pretty cold. They do not want you to wear any makeup at all. And after the LASIK surgery, they want to make sure that you are using new eye makeup. So new mascara and new eyeliner to decrease the chances of a bacterial infection. They don't want you to wear any jewelry, including earrings, no perfume, no lotion with scents, no fragrance pretty much. Do not bring any valuables because you are going to be the only one that's entering and leaving the surgery center. Um, so they want to make sure that they are not held responsible if something were to go missing, lost, or stolen. So the only thing that I pretty much brought was the packet, the medications that they told me to bring, which were the eye drops, and my phone. I really didn't need to bring my phone because the surgery center staff would actually call my driver to pick me up. Do not wear your contact lenses to the surgery center. Hence, you have to stop wearing your contact lenses two weeks prior to surgery. Now, the surgery was about two to three hours. Um, if you look back during my last video, I think it was closer to maybe the two and a half hour mark. Since you are going to go by yourself into the surgery center, they want to make sure that you don't bring anyone, especially young children. And because with the sensitivity of their surgical equipment, they did ask that I did turn off my phone. They also did not want me to bring any cameras or any electronics that could interfere with their device. If I did want to use my phone to make a phone call or text, I would actually have to step outside of the surgery center. A big one is that you had to bring your medications, which were the eye drops with you to the surgery center to make sure that they know that you did pick up the prescription from your pharmacy. So that's the antibiotic eye drops, 
the anti-inflammatory eye drops, the steroids, um, my artificial tears, and I also did bring my fish oils, which I just bought over the counter at the store. If I did not bring those medication in, my surgery would have been postponed and rescheduled. Question number five. What risk or complications did you experience during your LASIK procedures? Well, my complications were very, very minor. Um, they were kind of what you would expect after your LASIK surgery. Um, one of them is dry eyes. I have been battling with um, dry eyes even prior to my LASIK procedure, so that was expected. Also, where I'm living is pretty dry, so there is a higher chance of me experiencing dry eyes. The next one that I did experience was the blurry vision, which is expected usually for the first month. Um, mine was very minor. So I did notice my um, blurry vision around the fifth day after my surgery when I was actually at work. I was actually a little worried because I didn't know how long this blurry vision was going to last. And because I do need my eyesight for work, I wasn't sure if I had to call off for the rest of the day. But luckily the blurry vision did last um, for a few hours. So once I came back after lunch, my vision was good again. So I did have maybe blurry vision for two to three hours before lunch. Also another minor complication which did have me worry um, was that my left eye was not as clear as my right eye. During my one week and my one month of follow-up, when they did my eye testing, they kind of said and kind of confirmed that my left eye was not as clear as my right eye. Um, but it is normal for your eyesight to be fluctuating for the first month or the first few months. Um, but once I was brought back to do my three-month follow-up, my left eye was pretty much equal to my right eye in regards of vision and um, how clear my vision was. That did give me a little bit of worry because if my left eye did not improve, I would have needed to gone through LASIK for my left eye again, but that was not needed. So I'm just glad that my um, left eye with the eye fluctuating kind of corrected itself within the first few months. And what were the post-operative LASIK instructions? Well, the post-operative instructions were do not drive until you see 20, 40 vision or better, and when you feel comfortable. So for 10 days after the surgery, they want you to avoid any environment that is dirty, dusty, or smoky. They don't want you to wear any eye makeup, including mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadows. They would also prefer that you get new eye makeup. You have to be careful when you're showering or bathing. They don't want any water in the eyes. They don't want you to jog outdoors, any outdoor activities, hot yoga, or any gym workout that will increase your chances of having sweat that will go around your eye. For two weeks after the surgery, they want you to avoid any saunas, hot tubs, hot baths, steam rooms. They also want you to avoid um, motorcycles, skiing, snowboarding, roller coasters because they don't want any wind or fast air circulation around the eye. For one month after the surgery, they don't want you to be any oceans or lakes with heavy bodies of water. For three months after your surgery, they want to make sure that you're not scuba diving, skydiving, boxing, a mixed martial arts. They also want you to make sure that you are keeping up with your medications, your eye drops. So I'll be going over my goodie bag that I did receive prior to surgery um, during my second consultation appointment. So what I have in here includes, this is my schedule for my medications. Um, they have medications that I need to take during the surgery day. Each column is what I have to take, you know, per day, uh, usually around the whole seven days, the one week mark. After the one week, the seven days, they still tell you to continue using the artificial tears for the next two months, at least four times a day. Then after the two months, it's pretty much as needed. They also want you to make sure you finish your omega-3, your flaxseed, uh, your fish oils, the 2,000 milligrams. Just finish the bottle. 
I had about 300 of those pills so I think it just took me another few weeks to finish the whole thing. The paper does mention that you may have gritty or foreign body sensations. If your eyes are sensitive to the light, make sure that you're wearing your sunglasses outside. It is pretty normal for your eyesight to be fluctuating within the first month. They also included this um, quick paper here where it just goes over on what to expect right after your surgery which mainly is what to expect during your car ride just to make sure that um, you know I keep my eyes closed uh, during my car ride home because they want to avoid any air getting in there they want to make sure that I wear those goggles and any sunglasses if my eyes are very sensitive to the light the goggles that they provided um, after the surgery is to make sure that you're not rubbing your eyes the water doesn't get into your eyes and same with the air too so I wore this goggle right after my surgery procedure. So I wore it during the car ride, um, during the first night that I took a shower and then when I slept. I could have taken this off uh, the following morning, but I ended up wearing this for the rest of the day. I did end up wearing this to my um, one day follow up. And afterwards, I did wear um, it out when I went to Ikea, TJ Maxx, and my lunch event. And you're also required to wear this for the next seven nights while you're sleeping to prevent any um, unconscious rubbing of the eye. They did end up giving me these sunglasses to wear um, right after the procedure um, during my car ride home because you're very um, prone to being light sensitive. Uh, make sure that you tape up your eye with medical tape uh, during the first night when you sleep and then also not to rub your eyes and this was the medical tape that they did give me and then what i keep in here this is just my um, reminders of the appointments that i have to go so the surgery day the next day appointment and then the one week follow-up appointment so that way i don't miss any of my appointments I also keep my eye drop medications in this bag. So this is my antimicrobial medication. This is the anti-inflammatory medication. And then I do keep my uh, artificial tears in here. So what I would do is I would just take it out, put some eye drops in, and then put it back on and I could use this for the rest of the day. These are disposable, but you can get about a good 10 eye drops. Did LASIK surgery hurt? Is it painful? So during the surgery, you will feel a lot of pressure, a lot of pressing on the eye. They do put clamps or retractors around the eye to make sure that you, know, you don't blink and they increase the um, opening of the eye. I only felt the pressure. I did not feel any pain at all. I also don't know if I have a high pain tolerance. So some people might differentiate um, pain and pressure as the same. And then during the light and laser part of the surgery, you will notice almost like a burning smell. You will feel it, but it won't hurt at all. How many LASIK appointments did you attend? What was your total LASIK appointment? For my whole entire LASIK procedure, um, from start to finish, you can find it from my last video. I believe it was seven uh, LASIK appointments. So two of them were for the consultation. The third one was the date of surgery. And then I did my one day follow up after my surgery, then my one week follow up after my surgery. And then I did my one month follow up and then my three month follow up after the date of surgery. So that gives me a total of seven. I'm not sure if they're gonna call me back for a one year follow up, but right now everything is going great. Why did you get the lacrimal tear duct plugs? The reason why I got the tear duct plugs is because of my dry eye situation. Even though I was following my instructions of using the artificial tears, they think that my dry eyes also contribute to why my eyesight was fluctuating or why my left eye was not as clear as my right eye. One of the ways to help uh, decrease your dry eyes is putting the lacrimal plugs or the tear duct plugs. So the whole purpose of the tear ducts is to drain away any excess lubricants, you know, your tears, uh, your eye drops. Because my eyes were so dry, they had to put in the tear duct 
plugs into my deer tucks that way the eye drops would kind of lubricate and sit on my eyes a lot more to minimize the dry eyes the lacrimal plugs that they put in they do offer permanent plugs or the dissolvable plugs i'm not really sure which one i did get but i think i got the permanent plugs because when i did ask the optometrist who was placing in my lacrimal plugs i did ask her how long am i supposed to wear the plugs for and she pretty much said as long as you can she did mention that the other optometrist has had the lacrimal plugs the tear duct plugs in his eye for the past 10 years but she did state that sometimes these plugs will fall out on their own other alternatives that you can do without doing the lacrimal or the tear duct plugs is uh, using uh, more artificial tear eye drops or the lubricating eye drops another alternative is the thermal electric cautery which by the name it, they will use heat to help block off the tear ducts there that procedure does require local anesthesia where they actually have to inject in the area. Um, to insert the tear duct plugs, all they did was put some topical anesthetics right on top of my tear ducts for about a minute or so. Another alternative that you can do is laser cautery, which is just a more precise method than the thermal electric cautery. Another alternative treatment besides using the lacrimal plug is to decrease evaporation which is to limit your opening of the eyes or the wideness of the eyes and of course there is the alternative option of no treatment the last question do you have any regrets with your lasik treatment my only regret with my lasik procedure was that i did wish i got my lasik treatment a lot earlier in my life I know for a lot of people, including myself, there is a lot of restrictions on when you can get your LASIK procedure if you're thinking about it. One of the big factors can be money. I mean, a lot of people don't have like four or $5,000 just sitting in their back, especially if they have, you know, a lot of bills to pay, um, if they have family to support, and especially if you're living paycheck to paycheck. So it will take time to save up for this procedure, especially if you have a lot of financial limitation. Another restriction could be anxiety, being nervous. This is still considered surgery, so a lot of people can be nervous about it. A lot of people always assume the worst, like what happens if I lose my vision? And because of that mentality, it does limit you on when you are ready to do that procedure. Another restriction could be the time in your life with the possible complications of LASIK. You have to find the right time in your life to do it. If you are in school and you have to do a lot of reading, a lot of presentation, a lot of exams, you might want to hold off until you have a few weeks off to recover where you don't have to worry about blurry vision or fluctuating vision because it's very hard to take a test or to present something with that blurry or that fluctuating vision. Also with your career, if you have a career where you need your eyesight a lot, like if you're doing, let's say, eyelash extensions on other clients, or you're do type to do surgery, or the type to read a lot, you might have to find a time in your career where you can take a break from that. With my job, my eyesight is very critical for me to do my work. Because that one time when I had that blurry vision, I did have to find other tasks and duties where my eyesight was not needed. But luckily for me, my blurry vision only lasted a few hours. So that was something that I did not really have to worry about but everyone is very different going back to the question my only regret is that i did wish i did it sooner and that is it for my six month follow-up of my lasik journey i hope to have answered a lot of your questions if you were contemplating on getting lasik or not if you do have any other questions please leave them down in the comments below and i will get back to you shortly thank you